but with 135 and growing as, as these very pregnant mothers have more kittens, um, this is the largest that we've responded to. Toronto Cat Rescue, a nonprofit, says it responded to a hoarding situation involving more than 100 cats. The nonprofit responded to a home outside of the city. A really great question about how these situations arise. They can happen extremely quickly. It's very, I think people assume that they've happened over a number of years, but when you have unsterilized male and female cats together, a pregnant cat can give birth between three and five kittens at any given time, and they can birth between two and three litters a year. So a situation, if you can imagine, five female cats that aren't fixed, five male cats that aren't fixed, and a situation can arise within two or three years to what was happened here. Some of the cats living in this overcrowded situation was in need of immediate medical attention for upper respiratory infections. A group of 80 cats have been transferred to Toronto, and that includes 11 mothers nursing 41 kittens and five advanced pregnant females. What's really important about situations like this is that despite the best efforts of the owner, it's important to understand that that proper animal welfare cannot happen when there's that many animals in one home. Um, it's hard to make sure everyone's getting fed properly. You can't uh, take care of them to see whether they're sick or in, their, in trouble. When there's just that many animals, it's, it's impossible to know that. So it's really important that we are able to get them out of the situation um, into organizations like ours where we can vet them, ensure they're all spayed and neutered, which is critically important, and then get them back out into loving homes. Toronto Cat Rescue is always looking for volunteers. You can find that information on its website. More than 300 volunteers have been activated to help with the process of finding these cats new homes. That includes drivers, foster parents, and adoption counselors. The remaining 55 cats will be transferred to Toronto within the next couple of weeks. In Toronto, I'm Brandon Rowe for City News.